a parrot. He's been malnourished. He's been trapped in this cage for 32 years. Do you want to come out? That's what he wants to do. Oh my gosh. Wipe off the schmutz on the camera. Guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. I am Landon Cher, and today we are hanging out with the chicken ladies in the backyard. Hello, chicken ladies. I think these guys are hungry. We're gonna have to get them some food, but we are not messing with these birds right now. We have a rescue mission. Basically, a friend of a friend of a friend. It, it's really hard to follow. A friend of a friend of a grandma of a something has a bird a parrot that needs to be rehomed. Sadly, I've heard the story about this bird and it's been malnourished. The bird has been trapped inside a cage its whole life, 32 years. This blue and gold macaw has been stuck in a cage and I haven't seen it personally yet. It could be plucked all out from stress. I don't know if the bird is mean. I don't know if the bird is nice. Can we hold it? Can it bite my finger off? Who knows what is gonna happen, but basically, that is today's mission. It is about an hour car ride north, so we are gonna have to go there right now, and uh, I will see you guys when we get there. One hour later. So, we drove all the way up there. I didn't know if we were gonna get to film. Hello, Cracker. Guys, this is Cracker the parrot, and we have him now with us. There was no way of really getting him into the car with us because they didn't tell us to bring an extra enclosure for us to put him in, so there's no way to put him in the truck. We had to put the whole enclosure back here and strap him in, so he's good. He's been comfortable on the ride home. We've been taking it easy, nice and slow. But when we showed up to this house, we didn't know if we were gonna get to film with the bird or not, film the situation. It's somebody's home, and although they haven't been taking the best care of this bird, like I said, he's been trapped in this cage for 32 years. Look at this picture right here of how we found him. We might even have some video clips to roll. They needed to get rid of this bird and luckily we were able to find him and he is now coming home with us, but he is mean. He's not very nice. If I put my finger here, he's gonna wanna bite it, at least right now, but that's just because he hasn't been handled at all. He hasn't had any human interaction besides someone taking his water out, changing it, putting food in there and shutting this, locking it back up. That's it. That's all he's ever known. So we're gonna get him back to the house. Let's see how he does with the ride. He looks so happy, guys. I really don't know if he's gonna be a mean guy or not. We're gonna have to work with him. My friends are actually really good at working with birds. One of my best friends just moved to India to work with birds over there at one of the world's largest zoos that is opening up. This guy is gonna have to be trained by Sean, me, Tong, our other roommate over here. I'm hoping Cracker is going to love his new home, but we have to get him a new enclosure as well. Let's get him out of the truck. He looks so happy on his little perch. We're gonna put him outside of the truck and get him next to the iguana girls and the iguana boy. Let's do that now. Look at that, we've moved the cage and there are German roaches, little roaches everywhere. We've got roaches all up in here and mind you, this cage, this enclosure was inside these people's house with all of these things. So you can tell the quality of the house and the condition where this bird was living is not an ideal situation. All these roaches will come out and be eaten by the chicken ladies in the back. That's why we're putting them outside and not inside because this enclosure is a mess right now. He's had a whole drive around South Florida. Guys, I failed to mention before, this bird has never seen the light of day outside. It's been inside in the enclosure its whole life. It's not like he's just been in the enclosure by itself, outside where you can see sunlight, get a little bit of rain, have some leaves come in there for enrichment. He's had zero enriching activities his whole life. But now, we're gonna slide him up here for a second. Oh, be working closer to my fingers there. Don't bite me the next day. So it is the next day now. Hello, Cracker. He is just the most beautiful boy in the world. I love seeing him every morning. I think what we're gonna do though now is we're probably gonna get rid of this enclosure. It's all beat up. We might clean it up and save it for something, but this right here is looking like a great enclosure. And actually what I wanna do here is perfect. The rhino iguana boy does not really care for me too much. I didn't raise him. He was about this big when I got him and he's gonna get to be this big. So if he's trying to bite me and he's this big, that is not good. So what we wanna do is we wanna take this guy, I'm gonna put him into a smaller enclosure in my room. From there, I can work with him hands on. He'll get used to me. Hopefully we'll be able to train him. You guys can stay tuned for that. Cracker can come into this big enclosure while this guy will be in my room. 
now I'm getting trained. I don't know why Cracker's screaming right now. But guys, let's head to the store to get a new cage for him and some supplies for Cracker. Oh man, look at what we've got. We've got some bird food here. It was the only bag they really had and it's a better diet than the one he has now. Got some peanuts which are just treats for him because too many nuts, too much of anything is not good for us or the birds but that'll be a little snack for training. Hopefully getting Cracker to step up on us and be our little friend but and we got some nuggets here for the base of this enclosure. Look how amazing this thing is guys. This thing is massive. It is Mondo. It's really not supposed to fit the iguana for his whole life it's just temporary for training and then we'll be putting something else in it after but look how big this enclosure is got the water feature in the bottom the big doors and this is going to be perfect so let's set all this stuff up now so we've got the big iguana boy inside and removed to this enclosure cracker I don't know why you're screaming at me if you guys know anything about parrots you have to deal with a little bit of noise but cracker hasn't been too bad over the past couple days that we've had him although he was trying to bite before, and now he doesn't seem like he's trying to bite as much. Let's see. Hey, hey, hey. It's okay. You want to come out? That's what he wants to do. Oh, my gosh. Guys, I don't know what's going to happen here. I'm going to see if he wants to come out, but he's spreading his wings a little bit, and I don't think he can fly. Oh, 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 oh. I kind of want him to come out. He's been trapped in this enclosure for a while, and I have to get him into this enclosure. So one way or another, I'm going to grab these peanuts here. <laughs> This is just a treat for him, and I know he likes these because it's the first thing he goes for when I feed him. Would you like this? Would you want to come over here for it? Let's just see if he wants to come over here for the peanut. Getting bit by this guy would not be fun. Here, I'm going to pass you the door. Oh my goodness. Is that big peanut? Now, he hasn't been so crazy with my hands besides sometimes he tries to bite through the enclosure, and I think that's just because he's scared. Remember, those people that had him never tried handling him. I'm gonna see if he'll come out here again and maybe we'll try to pick him up. Chickens, this is not for you, Mr. Duck Pablo, this is not for you. This actually used to be a bird enclosure. We've just put Cracker's little uh, toy in here, his little thing he's got to swing on. He's looking at this peanut through here. I'm just gonna leave that there, let's see. I wanna move his stuff over first and then Let's see here. All right, I, let me just grab this. Don't be mean. These things are nasty, but we've got to move them into the enclosure before we put Cracker in there, so that way, once he goes in, we can leave him alone to get comfortable. Move it, chickens. Move it, chickens. Hey, hey, hey. You gotta get out, Mr. Duck. This is not your new habitat. What the heck? So basically what we have here, guys, we have his little food bowl. We've got his little swinging thing. We've got some rings back there, but I don't want all the colorful, crazy plastic pieces in there. Cracker, what are you doing? Are you trying to come out? I don't have this locked right now. You know what? We can just stick this on here. So we get that right there. One more here. This one is just starting to open. Looks kind of cool. We'll put it here in between these branches. I don't even think Cracker's really seen or interacted with leaves before because like we said he's never had the opportunity so this is going to be a lot of fun for cracker let's see i don't know how we're gonna get him into this enclosure we might need a towel do you want to come out you want to come out i got a peanut <laughs> mm, he says i'll do just about anything for a peanut guys he's coming out he is coming out for the peanut do you want to you want to get this you want to come on me? You want to step up? You don't know step up. This could take a while, guys. I don't know if we're going to be able to get this guy. You want to step up? You want to step up? You want to step up? Step up. Step up. Step up. There we go. Oh, oh. His foot's on me. His other foot's on me. Guys, we have Cracker. Oh, oh, oh. He's going back in the cage. No. Guys, he stepped on me. Cracker, we stepped up. All right, here. Let's see if we can do it again. Cracker, let's go. Come on, step up. All right, there we go. Can you step up now? Can you step up like a good bird? Step up, there we go. Oh my goodness, he's on me and he wants the peanut. That's a good boy, Cracker. That is a good boy. Guys, this bird is finally released from imprisonment. I think we're gonna keep him out here, guys. This bird can fly though. Well, he might not know how to, but we're gonna try to get him what are you doing with that peanut? You like that peanut. Look at the way he eats. 
He holds it with his foot and he breaks it apart with his tongue and his beak. This is amazing, guys. I don't want to freak him out too much. I don't know if he can fly, so I think I think we're just going to go right over here. Can you step up onto this hand? Can we try to step up? Oh, oh. Guys. Good boy, Cracker. Good boy. That's a good pretty bird. Can I touch your Can I touch your beak? Hold up. Can I touch your beak? Oh, oh, it's okay. Don't come up on my head. No, no, no. I don't want you up on my head. I don't want you up on my head. That's what he's trying to get a height advantage. This guy could bite my ear. Step up. There we go. It's okay. He's trying to get balanced, but you know what? We're going to put him away before any accidents happen. You've been checking this out. Oh, there he goes. How do you like that? We got more stuff we got to put in there for you. We just had to clean it off. So your other enclosure was all a mess. It was all a mess. Oh, trying to crawl. This wire might be a little bit thin, but this is just temporary. This is unbelievable, guys. From the beginning of this video till now, I did not think that we would get here. And this is honestly one of the most amazing days of my life because I've always wanted a parrot. I actually really like scarlet macaws. Those have been my favorite birds since I was little. My great grandfather and my family built the original parrot jungle down here in South Florida. So birds and parrots especially have always been a part of my childhood and my family's history. So this might be the start to uh, a new little parrot jungle, but definitely the start to a new beginning for Cracker. And I cannot wait to see what this big guy does here with us as he progresses and builds this relationship. But we are gonna put him back in here. We've got another stick that we added. We've got a couple other things in there. We've got a diet change for him, so he's gonna be on a healthier diet because he was really eating improper stuff. And that is a big part of an animal's life, just the diet and this enriching activity. So, Cracker, what do you tell them back at home? Sounds like Cracker has a lot to say, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really supports me and the channel. Please subscribe if you wanna see more. Check out some other videos, and I will see you guys, and Cracker will too, in the next adventure. Peace.